And Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. That really is why St. Patrick's High School Middle School exists. It's out of the love of Jesus Christ. It would bring us together. And the reason you have come to this school in the end, yes, to get a good education, and that's also a part of it, but in the end, it's to be able to experience the love of Jesus Christ. And it's to be able to learn how to remain in his love. And that's actually what he's telling us in the Gospel today of St. John. And I know throughout the years that there's been some ups and downs for each of you. And there's been some moments in which there have been quite challenges. Uh, and each of those moments, though, are moments in which we're invited to find God. And we're invited to meet Jesus Christ. Especially in our moments of weakness, our moments of failure. You know, in each of the retreats that we've had for you over the years, uh, there's been a conversation about meeting Jesus in those moments that are really challenging, and meeting Jesus in those moments that, that really give us pause. Um, then Jesus says to us, how do we remain in his love? And he says, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. And that really cooks it down to something very simple, but also something very challenging at the same time. I know your family and, and parents and friends that are here uh, can say that to love God with our whole heart and soul and mind and strength is a challenge. It means to be a people of prayer every day, to be a people of the Word of God every day. And then to love our neighbor as ourselves, I think you as a class have learned how to do that with each other. When many of you got here as seventh graders, you were very wide-eyed and probably about this tall. And of course now as graduates, many of you are this tall. And God has worked in your life over these last six years to teach you what it means to really love your neighbor. And your neighbor is sitting next to you, by the way. And that's true for all of us gathered here in this gymnasium. All of us are called to love one another as Jesus has loved us. And he went into some detail in the gospel and he said, that he wants a very personal relationship with us first. And he wants us to know his love in our lives every day. And that includes the days when we don't feel real great, or the days that are really challenging, especially those days, the Lord Jesus is there for us. And the Lord Jesus is there to touch our lives and to give us the grace we need and the love we need in those moments so that we can be a sign of him to the world. Because he says to us, no greater love than this has a person to give his life for another. Wow. Wow. And that's actually what he's done for us. He gave his life for all of us on the cross. But he also showed us that that's not the end. That there is a resurrection. And so in that gift, telling us that, yeah, even though there's difficulty in the world right now, and even though there's wars going on, and even though there's real struggles, and even though sometimes it's hard to tell what's truth, he's saying to us, there is a truth, and it's in the love of God. And that love we give to one another as we give our lives for each other. Each of your parents, or grandparents, or guardians have really given their lives for each other and for you. That's what gets you here, now. And so part of the question for us and for you as a class is, who are you going to give your life for? In the end, 
it needs to be for Jesus himself. And as you perhaps someday have someone you fall in love with, or someday you choose to be a priest, or someday you choose to be a sister, or someday you're just you're simply single, in all of those moments, Jesus really calls us to fall in love with him and to be a sign of Christ to the whole world, such as the world is today. Because this is the world we're born into right now, right now. One of the things that you can do for each other right out of the gate and during this Mass is pray for each other. Pray for each other. And offer the Mass for each other. I know all the people that are here in the stands and behind you are praying for you. So I hope you can feel their prayers because that's a sign of their love for you and my love for you because I'm offering the Mass for you today. Jesus is very much saying to us, we are his disciples. That's what we've been speaking to you these last six years. You have come to know him. You have come to love him. You have come to serve him through your service and ministry. And you have also now been called to witness to him. So whatever university you go to, whatever college you go to, whatever trade school you go to, or if you're going in the armed services, whatever it is, you take that with you. You are the disciples we send out into the world now. You are the disciples that can make a difference. You will meet people that I will never meet, that I will never meet. And you can share with them the love of Jesus Christ by walking with them and letting the love of Christ truly, truly speak through you. Come back to the gospel. As the Father loves me, so I, saw, I also love you. Trust that. The Lord Jesus loves you. And the Lord Jesus wants to walk with you. And the Lord Jesus wants to share life with you. And if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. So pray to have God at the center of your lives and to have your neighbor also, and the love of your neighbor also at the center of your lives. This faith community prays for you now. This faith community also wants you to continue to fall in love with Jesus Christ no matter where life takes you. I'm praying for you. The faculty standing behind you or sitting behind you is praying for you also. All of your parents and family are praying for you. Pray for each other, that you may always remain in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.